Box offices are officially back. Look at the average shapes, the highest since 1998. And remember that AMC is setting all-time records for profit per customer also. So the average per movie for total gross in 2023 is 3.3 million. And if you look back in history over the last, say, 10, 20 years, there hasn't been a time in many, many, many years that AMC saw an average per total gross even nearly that high. The movie theater industry comeback is something incredible. AMC, large portions of the flow is traded every single day. I know that I'm not selling my shares. I know many apes aren't either. And we have actual data to prove this. We have the unbalanced volume. We also have the retail orders buy and sells from Fidelity, which again, if you take those two into consideration, at least give you some sort of an idea of what retail is doing. So where are these shares coming from? Who is selling all these shares every single day to drop the price? It seems like the overall momentum for AMC is bullish from here. Fundamentally speaking, AMC has a lot of good things going on. So please explain what's going on here. Shorts maybe forgot that AMC apes love and embrace dips and no real apes GAF about their PL because we aren't selling anytime soon anyway. We're looking to add more shares when they're cheap and accumulate at cheaper prices. Really though, it doesn't matter if all you do is hodl because shorts are apt post reverse split. And this ape down below posts a screenshot from a recent Fidelity's buys versus sells. On this screenshot, you can see Tesla. Tesla has a 54% buy and a 46% sell. BFRG has 52% buy and 48% sell. And AMC, the stock that everyone keeps saying that all the retail orders, all the retail investors are selling. AMC has 79% buy versus just 21% sell. So if you look past all the manipulation, all the spoofing, all the weird stuff that's been going on as of recently, you have data like this where it shows that the retail investors, for whatever reason, obviously because they like the stock, are still holding and or buying more consistently. 